Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim Survival Mode. And I totally have been doing everything to plan this entire time and didn't forget a location and now have to modify my entire journey just to accommodate it. No! Everything I've done has been perfectly planned. Nothing went wrong at all. Okay. Maybe I'd accidentally crossed out one of the locations in Falkreath on my little guide thingy which told me where the stones were. And now I'm going to have to modify my route so that I end up back in Falkreef eventually. Or maybe I was doing it for entertainment's sake? Yeah, let's pretend it was for entertainment's sake. You guys will believe that, right? Oh <laughs> uh, no, I've forgotten about uh, Sunderstone Gorge, I think it is, in Falkreef. So, I'm going to have to deal with that. And I'm being far too casual about these saber cats here, who are just running away from me. <laughs> That's not gonna hit them, is it? Wonder if I can solo frenzy. Bob. <laughs> um, you guys are next to each other. You're supposed to be fighting each other, not me. Okay. Yeah, let's have those two fight each other and pelt some basic arrows into them. And now, this time though, we're not going to the location I forgot about whilst I was in Fort Grief. Instead, we're going to a location in Hulmarch. But that's going to require a bit of a wonder. Oh, come on. Um, no, 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 I'd quite like to shoot you if you don't mind. Oh, Janessa, good of you to show up. Okay. Oh, come on, how am I missing all these shots? There's bad accuracy here. Janessa, kill. Okay, I'm just going to charge it. I don't need to worry about dragons or anything, just charge. Oh, I shoot the dead body, do I? Excellent. Okay, well, there's a dead sabre cat. Isn't that great? I only get, didn't get any arrows out of it either. Alright, I'm going to be wasting lots of arrows this episode, it seems. Uh, but what I can do is just wander along. I've put myself a custom marker for where I need to go. Just going to run along the path and hopefully make it to where I need to be without any problems. Alright, that was probably the best fight I've ever had and I stupidly didn't talk over basically any of it. I just remained perfectly silent and just... Let myself get pinpoint accuracy every time. With a nice little finisher from Janessa as well to fill up a soul gem. And yeah, I just remained silent like the amazing YouTuber I am. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should keep talking at points. Because down here we've got... Oh, we got a bunny wabbit. And he's a tricky t hit. Okay, we're going to ignore that. And I'll just cut that all out. And I... You... Don't swear, Sarge. Okay, I didn't want to actually aggravate these bandits, because I don't need to. They're not particularly tough, but we're just going to kind of get them away now. Oi, why? Stop dodging. Bad. Janessa, stop using a bow. Okay. I'm the one who uses the bow. Janessa, stop it. Oh, wait. You bugger. Oh, 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 I didn't swear at that. That's totally fine. That's barely, like, bad language. Um, where do I heal? Where do I heal? I heal here, behind this rock. It's nice and safe. Hey, and restoration goes up. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, Janessa's now managed to get all of them fighting, which, nope. Means we're gonna have to deal with the one tough guy, and there's a fight over there as well. Just everyone's fighting. Yeah, let's finish him off. Yeah! I'm totally good at this game, aren't I? Okay, um... Where's that archer? The archer's the only one I'm actually interested in looting, just to get some arrows back. It was around here, wasn't it? Ah, there we go. Yeah, I'll get the arrows back from the archer. And, ooh, amulet of Akatosh. Yeah, why not? And then just carry on on my journey, which hopefully won't have any more interruptions. Okay, I'm not going to get involved in this fight, but if they want to kill each other, that would be lovely. 
Is, oh yeah, they're actually all quite low on health. You know what? I can't resist it. Bob! <laughs> yep, everyone kill each other, please. Don't care what side you're on. Just kill one another. Go for it. That's it, Janessa. Kill them all. Come on. Yeah. Wow, you guys are really bad at killing each other. There we go, one left. Well done, Mr. Stormcloak. You're the champion. And now you're dead. What this means, though, is a bunch of free stuff. And, yeah, the Imperial Armor is actually really quite good for selling. However, I'm just going to get all the arrows and stuff. Because I just want arrows. Scale helmets as well, even better for selling. Now, oh. I was about to say, somewhere up way, this way there's a bear, isn't there? Oh, yeah, there it is. But there's a mammoth as well. So I'm kind of stuck between two very tough things. And that's a dead deer. Cool. Yeah, I'll just let Janessa deal with you, Mr. Bear. And I don't really need to fight the mammoth, do I? No. Uh, you know what I can do, though? Is just run away. Because there's no real point in me killing the bear. The only useful thing I get out of it are some bear claws, and it's not really worth it. Just, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Instead, I just trundle over and your elk's not wolves. Not even going to bother killing you. See, I'm being nice. This could be Skyrim No Kill version 2. Except with how many kills have I had so far? Uh, combat. Oh. <laughs> okay, I might have killed a lot of things. But it's fine. I haven't killed everything. Which actually is worse, because then it's not Skyrim Kill Everything. Which, by the way, I was thinking about doing a Skyrim Kill Everything series. I had it all properly planned out and the like. I was going to do it, and I was like, oh, let's just check what can and can't be killed, just so I've got a rough idea. Turns out, almost everything in Skyrim counts as essential. All of the NPCs are just like, nah, we're just going to tag them all as essential. Because, you know, that's just fun. Let's make it so you can't kill anything. Not just children, just random NPCs who have no purpose in the game other than saying one line of dialogue. Yeah, let's make those guys essential too. That seems fair. So yeah, that's why I haven't done a Skyrim Kill Everything series or anything like that. It just doesn't work. Oh, I got too close, didn't I? Okay, let's kill all these skeletons. I swear, third-person archery is the worst. And... Okay, that one was on me, but point remains about third-person archery being the worst. Okay, now the Draugr's going to pop out of here. Oh, it's a white. Oh dear, it's a white. Yeah, you have magic, don't you? Janessa, come tank for me, please. Yeah, those ice spikes. Those things are nasty. Okay, Janessa's killing something else, because that was the flash of a soul trap there. Oh, she's fighting the bear. Okay, maybe I can... I don't have Master of a Mind, do I? So I can't pop that into that. Alright. <laughs> okay, Janessa, I'm just bringing more enemies over to you. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I'll help you with the bear. If you're willing to kill the drug. Actually, I should probably just... Whistle down the Draugr a bit, whilst Janessa finishes off the bear. Yeah, because I've got these basic arrows. Oh dear. That's it. And now, fight Mr. Draugr. Good job. And stop using a bow! Oh, come on! That was such an unnatural dodge. I know, sure, he's a zombie and everything, but... Okay, hopefully that will get Janessa to pull out her swords. Yeah, because she's actually got really good melee weapons. But sometimes she just is determined to use her terrible hunting bow. Perfect, nice critical shot. Oh, there we are, there we are. Pop, and it's just an elk running to the side. Try not to kill Janessa, because she could actually die if... Yeah, I'm not careful. Perfect, she's fine though. And Mr. Cave Bear died, so let's take those... Bear claws, because we might as well. Here we are. Oh, that's not even that good. Steal a helmet of water breathing 225. That cannot be right. That's got to be higher value than... It's only 225. That's only like 100 points higher than if it wasn't enchanted. 
Okay, I'm still going to pick that up. And there's also a master lock chest here. Which do I want to go for? Um, lavender, please. Uh, let's give it a quick try. I got 31 lockpicks. And it's quite close to the start. So yeah, I think I'm going to be able to get this in... Okay, a little to the right. That should be it. Nope, not that much to the right. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, I'm determined to get this. No! This... This is a problem with... I'm... Hmm. Okay, I'll just cut ahead and make it look like I got it first time. That'll be so much easier. There we go, totally... Ooh! Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> That's... Okay. Those are dragon scale boots. I was just going to make jokes about, like, how great I am at lockpicking, but... Yeah, this deserves to be master locked. Nice! I was not expecting that at all. Alright, um... I've only got, like, the shrouded boots on currently, haven't I? I mean... Shrouded boots are nice and all, but dragon scale... Oh, yeah, dragon scale. Oh, that's better warmth and armour. And, I mean... They don't fit in perfectly, but I don't make... I'm only like level... F I'm level 30! This is... I think that might be the lowest level they can even possibly spawn in. Wow. I'm... Yeah. I I'm just wearing them because I've never got Dragon Scale that early on. I always end up having to go to like the Dawn God DLC to get any Dragon Scale stuff. Or just making it myself is how I normally do it. But yeah. That's nice. I got some nice Dragon Scale boots. Ah, oh, sweet. If only I could get the rest of a set as well. That'd be perfect. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, just a bear, just a bear, just a bear. It's fine. We're getting to a cold point in the mountains as well. And I've got to just kind of jump my way around here, because I'm pretty sure that ruin over there is where we need to be. Uh, I need to make it to the other side of this. And I don't think I'm going to be able to mountain jump it. Okay, the jump wasn't quite as bad as I thought. Yeah, instead, I'm going to have to slide all round and... Okay, let's quick save here. Um, let, let me jump, game! Game, let me jump! Okay, if I... Okay, I haven't managed to drop down somewhere impossible and then save my game. That could have gone very badly. Could have gone very badly indeed. Alright, I need to make it to there. It's starting to get cold. Good job I've got extra warmth rating now. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Seriously? You guys must be freezing. Why are you even bothering with me? Okay, you can just... Okay, I'll muffle myself. And I'll frenzy the pair of you. How's that? Yeah! Oh wow, I don't think I'm even fully detected. That's nice. And are you all frenzied? Okay, all should be frenzied now. Um, I'm starting to take a bit of damage, though. Which one's the... Okay, Plunderer's the one with the greatsword. Don't put your arrow away. Okay, I need to kill you. I'm gonna... Oi! Let me kill the outlaw at least. Okay, this plunderer could prove problematic if I wasn't an illusion mage. Who can literally deal with all her problems by going... Bop! Hey, buddy. Yeah, he doesn't mind me now. We're cool. <laughs> yeah, illusion magic is great for dealing with powerful enemies. Just like anything that's slightly too inconvenient to actually fight, just calm it. It's fine. Now, this cold's going to be a problem. Most of the stones are in warm locations. This one is not. So we're going to have to fight our way inside while still cold, and then... Oh, dear. Oh, I'm on the wrong arrows, aren't I? Well, you don't have a choice, do you? See, I know this old spiel. Okay, let's switch over to some slightly better arrows. We've got a whole bunch of steel from those soldiers we let kill each other. So let's use those. Good, good. And, oh yeah, they, ha they actually have stuff on them, don't they? I forget this. Oh, carrying too much, carrying too much, carrying too much. Uh, let's throw on the charm necklace for now, and then once Janessa catches up, we can ditch a bunch of stuff with her. 
And Ramvig's fast discovered. Perfect. So this is in fact the location we're going to. Because somewhere in here is another stone of Baron Zaya. And uh, let's also eat some sacks of flour before we head in. Because I'm sure they're tasty. Now, my marker was pretty close. I am very cold, I am very cold, I am very cold. My movement speed's about to be affected. This is not quite so good. I need to get inside sooner rather than later. Yeah, travelling in Northern Skyrim with survival mode. It's not always a smart move. Even with, like, maxed out warmth rating. It's still like, nope, you're gonna freeze to death, sorry. It just does not care for you. At all. Um, I'm heading up all the way. Am I actually supposed to head up all of the way? I don't think I am. Oh, Especially not if you're gonna... Okay, probably healing time here. Probably healing time. It's also, yeah, poison the bow, fortify health, and I have some restore health, so I'm tight. Yeah, uh, I don't actually need the restore health yet. Oh, what do you mean resisted? Bad skelly. Okay, dead skelly, but still bad skelly for resisting that poison. You just made me waste some poison there. Okay, oh, star for flames. That's quite nice. Um. Okay, I don't need to be going up all this way, do I? There's an entrance somewhere lower, and I am freezing to death! Okay, let's just see if I can up my warmth rating at all. So that's all I'm worried about now. I'm at 145 warmth rating, though. It should not be me freezing to death. Okay. Steel helmet. Might not suit the character at all, but it ups my warmth rating enough to hopefully keep me alive. Right, where's the entrance? Where is the entrance? Oh, I've got more things to kill. Oh, do not be tough! Now is not the time for you to be all strong and stuff. Now is the time for you to let yourself get killed, okay? No, no, that's a bad kill cam. Oh no, it isn't. Voice acting just went on too long. Alright, none of that's going to increase my warmth. Let's just get inside. This looks like an entrance. There was another enemy to fight, which is a good sign. Yep, big doors here. Big doors here. Oh, I move so slowly. Bad cold. Um. I still appear to be kind of cold. Yeah, I'm walking over to the little flames. Doesn't help. The air is warm here. Perfect. That's it. Warm yourself up. Let's go buy those candles again. Yeah, hopefully the candles will warm me. I'm just going to wait here and warm myself up and also get rid of the... No, I want to get rid of the marker. Thank you. Yeah, just get rid of the marker, warm myself up, I'll all be fine. Alright, the one thing of worry is I've been waiting around for a little while now and Janessa hasn't shown up. Which is not good, to say the least. I'm also putting on something that's going to... Hold up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, warm freighting did go down. Yeah, I'm also going to have to put on the hood to make myself just a bit more combat effective. So yeah, I was doing 20% less damage on that, less, on that last ghost. It really showed. Now, I'm going to have to try and make my way through this dungeon without Janessa, apparently. Because she's probably just frozen to death somewhere. Which isn't so good. Oh dear. I don't want you to attack me either. Oh yes, one shot. Okay, land the sneak attacks and it's all good. And I am now warm. Perfect. Okay, I'm pretty sure the ghost can kind of not just spawn out of nothing, but they're invisible at the start, if I recall correctly. And then they'll just spawn in when you get close enough, which can make them a bit of a pain to deal with. Oh dear, I'm tired. Has my vision started going blurry yet? Okay, my vision still appears to be alright, but that's going to really damage my mage skills, which is annoying. And This place isn't big enough. Oh, you're tough! Doesn't matter, you're going to. I don't care what you want or don't want, it's what you're doing that matters. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's it. You keep trying to swing, I'll keep staggering you and backing away. This is pro combat archer tactics here. Be able to stagger the enemy and then walk slightly back. Ow! Bad! Jeez! That was mean! Like, properly mean. Okay, he got a power attack on me, which is not what I wanted to happen. But on the bright side, he's dead now? I mean, he was a ghost, so he wasn't really alive before, but... Either way, he's not my problem anymore. And that's what matters. I feel like this is a trap. I can't remember this location properly, but the dungeon cannot be this small. It's genuinely a word wall, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's just that the chest is empty. Oh, and it's Kind's piece, so it's useless anyway. Ah, and then there's this thing here. I'm guessing the game wants me to go on here, but I don't actually need to drop down into the dungeon there, do I? Instead, can't I just... Yeah, unlock doors and get through. That's why it is a trap. See, you, I know my Skyrim. I know when I'm walking into a trap. Although I'm pretty sure the trap is how it's meant to go, so I might have to fall down into it. We will see, I guess. Oh, I hear someone yawning. That's a nice way for them to give away their position. You know what? Let's start being stealthy. We've not got Janessa with us, so we need to keep the sneaking up. Because otherwise we might end up dead. Alright, we're on the overlooking walkway to the area we just went through. And we just got to go through that door and kill everyone we see. Nice and simple, it seems. That's quick save, just in case I do something stupid. Which is almost inevitable. Well, you don't have to, you're dead. And... Is anyone else actually here? Oh, don't tell me that I actually have to go through... Yeah, I'm going to have to go through the trapdoor, aren't I? Yeah, it's not just going to let me go an alternative way. That's annoying. I know it's all like story stuff of, oh, you fell in this trap, but it should let you bypass it. It really should. But alas, no, this is the final little location, and I see no lever or anything I can pull here. So, trapdoor it is. Alright, game. You win. I'll drop down your trapdoor. <laughs> really? I've fallen for your trap. Have I now? What I actually think has happened is I'm about to kill you and you can't do anything to stop me. Because that's what it looks like to me anyway. Ow, you are tougher than you look. Ow, and stronger. Damn, this is going to be problematic now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. This is a problem, I guess, isn't it? Um. Something here to end this as quickly as possible. Okay. Oh, the assistant. Okay. Ah, there's an actual key in here. It's quite nice. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just? Um. Someone there. Okay, okay, he's noticed me now, but I feel like I can run. I knew it. Yeah, I can totally outrun this dude. Bye, bye, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't need to kill you. I don't need to kill any of you. Oh, 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 that was Janessa, wasn't it? Who cares, I'm out. <laughs> Just snatch and grab. That's all I had to do. Okay, are they about to join me out here, though? No? No, I'm pretty sure I ran past Janessa there. I'm not certain, but I think that happened. Oh! Oh, Mr. Plunder has caught up! Okay, let's go back to calming you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, you can be calmed in one. That's good. And a random Breton here with a note saying, If you're reading this, then I'm most likely dead. No, you're definitely dead. I just took it off your body. 
A group of bandits ransacked my home and took most everything valuable I own. The worst is they took a pendant that has been in my family for many generations. Most of my family is dead, including you now, mate. So that pendant was the last connection I had with any of them. I'm going after those scoundrels and getting my pendant back, even if it's the death of me. Well, technically you don't get the pendant back if you die whilst doing it. So, does that mean you've got a pendant on you, maybe? Uh, necklace of recuperation. I'm guessing that's what it would be. Okay, and now it's my cue to leave, I think. Because, yeah, I just came out the side door there. One sec, just check that I actually picked up that gem there. I'm pretty sure I did. We're up to 19. Yeah, that would be it. Sweet! So, that's what Rambig's fast unusual gem got. Oh, that's... That's not how you're supposed to do it, but I, I'm glad I did it that way. It's much more entertaining, and there's more nasties over that way. Oh, and they're coming after me, are they? Oh, God! They're coming after me big time. Okay, keep on running. Bad cat! Whoa, that was weird. Did a little spin there. Okay, I think I might just get back to civilization over there before I end the episode because everything's gonna try and kill me and I don't want it to. Oh, we're in Greenspring Hollow. That means a bear. That means a big bad bear. I don't like big bad bears. Big bad bears are bad. Bad 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 bears. I may have drunk too much today. I think that might be the problem here. Okay, well Insane ramblings aside, let's just get back to safety. I'm sure this will be fine. Actually, I'm near the place where I got my nice fancy dragon scale boots here, and I'm going to end it off now. Janessa's probably still back in Rambix fast. She's just clearing up enemies behind me. It's no big deal. And I'll carry off next time, because I won't be heading back to civilization straight away anyway. Although I will need to find a bed soon. Regardless though, thank you as always for watching, do like the video, it genuinely helps. The more of you who like the video, the more chance YouTube's actually going to say, hey, Sarge uploaded a video, why don't you watch it, to all my other subscribers. Because otherwise YouTube will just be like, nah, people who subscribe to your channel probably don't want to watch your content, why would they? So please do like videos. Same with any content creator you enjoy, just like the videos, it helps out a lot and it only takes a second. It's for it's a good habit to get into. I've been trying to make sure I like every single video I watch. Just makes it all a bit better on YouTube. Like conversation over. Thanks for watching. Sarge out.